Hey, it's Alex the Car Doctor here, and today's video I will be talking about um, hair gasket. How to tell if you have a blown hair gasket. Most of the time, you have mechanics telling you, y'all, uh, you have a blown hair gasket. Have to do this, do that. Sometimes it can just mean you have air in your system or something wasn't done properly. I can't tell you how many times I've seen misdiagnostic, misdiagnosed cars um, over a simple test that can be done to properly diagnose the vehicle. So step one is to drain some of the cooling out the system because you don't want to contaminate your fluid. Um, how to do that is several different ways. You can, if you can't find the drain plug on the radiator, there um, should be a drain plug on a radiator, but most cars don't. You can use Google and type in your year specific car, your make and model, and type in, let's say, drain plug on radiator. And it should show you a clear picture of that. But this one has a drain plug, um, so I'm gonna just unscrew the drain plug and have the um, radiator fluid come out. Not all of it, but the other way is to disconnect the lower radiator line. It's a little bit more messy um, and you can find it. This one is over here. Just take some pliers, squeeze these two in like so. Let me get some pliers here. Can't find the pliers. way is to grab some pliers if it's, if it's squeeze tight just take it like so squeeze these together and just pull the clamp back I don't like doing it this way because it's messy but squeeze them together pull the clamp back for enough and you can able to pop the radiator hose off and coolant will come rushing down um, so I'm I'm not going to do it that way because I have a drain hose, but I just want to give you a quick demonstration. So I've got my coolant draining here. Speed it up. It's getting everywhere. So I just got finished draining the coolant. Um, just like I said, you just need to tad out the system. Um, a rule of thumb, you could probably let it drain for about a minute or two. Um, that should be enough so you won't suck in any um, coolant while you're trying to do the test. Ooh, this is too full. Um, what I'm doing here is cleaning up my mess I just made, my, my drain bucket. I didn't know it was over full. I guess I'd be busy, so busy sometimes I forget to check and drain out my blood. <laughs> now I made a mess. All right, step two. Get some block test fluid. This is going to cost you about $10, $15 at your local auto parts store. You specifically ask for block testing fluid. Um, this is called combustion leak tester fluid. Uh, I like to get mine from Napa. I just had better experience with it. And next step, next um, thing you need is the block tester itself. As you can see, I've already put my fluid in it. It's a little line right here that tells you where to stop putting fluid in. Um, now the idea of this is this fluid detects combustion, get the combustion gases. <laughs> tongue tied there and it will turn yellow if it detects combustion gas in the cooling system it will stay blue if you're good to go so we're going to perform this test right now I'm just going to let that sit there And this is what this bulb is for. It kind of like sucks 
air out the radiator while you're performing this. So, you know, the right now we're staying glue. Starting to turn yellow now. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I'm about to take it away and give a side by side comparison. Okay. So, if you're kind of confused uh, what the bolt's supposed to look like, see how blue that one is? And that one is kind of like yellowish greenish. It don't supposed to turn that color. It's supposed to stay blue like that. So that indicates this one has a blown head gasket. So I gotta take the motor all apart, put new head gaskets on. Apparently the people already fixed the problem with the head gasket. Um, I see a new water pump on this vehicle, so what happened was, let me turn this car off. Alright, so apparently what happened, what normally happens is, how do you lead up to a blown hair gasket, you may ask. Um, either you will spring a leak in one of your hoses, water pump go out, crack in your radiator, um, when that happens, Sometime you're on the freeway, sometime you're a couple of miles away from home. Um, people notice their temperature hand is in the H. They say to themselves, <laughs> maybe I can just make it. And they keep driving the car. And sometimes they do make it. But by then, it's too late. You've already ran the car over tempt for a certain amount of time, and that warps the heads. Um, basically it deforms the metal on the cylinder heads and that's what leads to a blown head gasket. In a nutshell, if you see your car running hot, just pull over. It could save you thousands because now this man got to spend thousands of dollars to get this car fixed properly. And it pays to have someone that know what they're doing because I've seen <laughs> major disasters where People think they know what they're doing when it comes to repairing this. It's not an easy job. And if you don't have the experience or they're not a reputable company, just take it somewhere else that know what they're doing that's going to give you a good warranty on labor. Um, because it, it can turn out bad. Your car will be worse off than what it started because of someone that didn't do the job properly. All right, this wraps up another Alex the Car Doctor video. If you have any questions, um, uh, put, it, put it down in comments. Uh, like, subscribe for more. There will be a lot more where this came from. I have plenty to say. <laughs> All right, I'm out.